Hello and welcome to the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news each week. I am Nachi Lazarus and this is the Connected Church News. We have news from Facebook, Amazon, Google, LinkedIn and Apple. This is a show designed for leaders of non-profits, churches and ministries, leaders like you, who like to stay on top of trends and get all the top news each week in 5 minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of the week is from Facebook. Facebook seems to be testing new features inside its live producer tool. Uh, live producer is a live streaming tool built inside Facebook. It's a very useful tool that helps you go live into your pages and your nonprofit or your ministry groups and other Facebook assets. And uh, since it's a tool coming directly from Facebook, it's got a lot of uh, features in it. And uh, now they seem to be adding even more features uh, similar to some third party live streaming tools. Uh, one is uh, graphic packaging. So now they seem to allow you to add graphics like overlays and images to your live streaming uh, stream. And uh, the second is on screen comments. This is a big one. Now, while you're going live, you can bring in a live comments. You can queue up comments uh, from the viewers to show on your screen. And the third is also a big one, which is you can feature a link on your screen when you go live. So let's say you're talking about a particular fundraiser or you're talking about some ministry event or something like that, then you can bring that live link while you're live because live gets most of the views as we all know and you can allow people to click on the link and go to a, a website or any link that you like. So uh, looking forward to testing these features myself so I highly recommend you check it out. Our next news is from Amazon and it's an interesting one. Amazon Prime Video announced earlier this week that they are releasing a new watch party feature in the US. This is in beta. And what you can do is you can open a video and there will be a button called watch party. You can click on that and you can watch that with others. So they're bringing in the social element of watching together, commenting and sending emojis to each other uh, while you're watching a particular program. What I want you to notice is not so much about the Amazon news itself, but uh, the fact that this watch party is starting to become a trend. So uh, think about this from a ministry perspective. There are so many applications to it. I mean, in small groups, you can watch a movie or you can watch a particular video, teaching video, and the host can control how the video plays so you can stop. And tomorrow, if there's going to be a video call facility like a chat, then you can get everybody who watched that show to talk about it and so on. So do check it out. I think it's going to become a trend and something that will be useful for uh, ministries and nonprofits. Our next news is from Apple. Last week, Apple had a big week with a Worldwide Developer Conference kicking off and they had announcements about almost all Apple products, including Apple phone OS, iPad OS to Mac and Safari and uh, watch and AirPods and everything. But there are two news items that caught my attention. I wanted to highlight it to you. One is the privacy aspect. So Apple doubled down on privacy and saying that Safari uh, will block ads and there will be extra privacy features. You can read about that in the article I'm linking to, but uh, they are very serious about privacy. The other thing is the car key feature. So you can very soon use your iPhone as a car key. Yes, you heard me right. You can open your car, your car that you drive with your iPhone and you can share access to your car with an iMessage. You want to give access to your car to somebody else, just send them a message. And they actually demoed it on a BMW car. So very interesting and very crazy. Check it out. Our next news is from LinkedIn. Last week, LinkedIn released new features to help people give and get support from their LinkedIn community. Uh, one of the options is a uh, frame, photo frame, which will say open to work, which will uh, get added to your profile picture on LinkedIn. And when you add that feature, then people will be able to see that you are open to new positions and they'll be able to offer you jobs and so on. The other thing is you offering your help to others. So there is a new option called offer to help within a LinkedIn post where you can click on that option when you're making a LinkedIn post and you can select what kind of offer you are giving. Like for example, you can volunteer or you can uh, help people with career counseling or something like that in the professional way and you can post that and that post will stand out with the hashtag offering help and so on. So do check out these features. Seems interesting in this COVID times. Our final news of this week is from Google. Last week, Google announced that the product listing within the main search page 
will be free starting this summer as of now if you do a product search you will find these product listings and uh, right now they are all sponsored uh, products uh, which are basically paid uh, you know for being listed but now to help uh, merchants in this covid time google is saying they are going to make this listing free they already made google shopping listing free and already uh, the free listings have started appearing uh, in the us but now they are also bringing it to uh, the search listings in the us so this is a good trend to watch out for at you as a non-profit of ministry if you have products then you definitely want to check this out well that's all i have for you this week thank you for joining me we've got all the source links and details related to all the news items in our news page nachilazarus.com slash news do check it out i'll see you next week with another set of news items until then you stay connected stay blessed and stay safe god bless you bye bye